you are watching an Al Bear review. Cute music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to Sure Happy. It is Thursday. I am extremely happy. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Everyone, be sure to like, comment, and share. You know, there's a few things I want to talk about this week that I thought about talking about. But I'm only going to talk about possibly two things. And I got to start with uh, Miss Wendy Williams. You know, um, y'all going to listen. Uh, Wendy Williams has filed for divorce. She's also fired uh, her husband, soon to be ex-husband. Kelvin Hunter from being an executive producer of the show. I believe she also has fired him from being her manager. And um, I have to admit, I have to admit, I do not know who is a part of who makes up the Wendy Williams uh, PR team. But the spin that they have put on this entire situation just has me mind blown. The spin that they have introduced to the public um, really has, excuse me, really almost made me forget that she hired a private investigator to tell her husband to really get solid proof of him having a mistress of 10 years. The PR team has also almost made me forget the fact that Wendy Williams relapsed when she heard the breaking news of her husband side chick uh you know going into labor and you know having birth of his and the side chick child the pr team has almost made me forget that wendy williams is a victim of abuse of you know however long her and kelvin hunter has been together man the pr team has performed a miracle and it was a miracle overnight the PR team has came through and I know y'all probably tired of me saying the PR team miracle but I don't got to give it to you I got to give credit where credit is due the PR team have turned Wendy Williams into a city girl I love it I love it and y'all probably listening saying what the hell are you talking about Wendy Williams is not a city girl but let me explain Wendy Williams went on the air over the airwaves of national television, her platform, her audience, her viewers, and however else you want to describe the people that watch the show is one of the YouTube clips like myself. Wendy Williams sat there in that chair and kindly talked about how after she served those divorce papers, her telephone was ringing, ringing, ringing off the hook with this and that man who wants to take her out on a date. And she's just saying yes, 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 and yes. I love it. The PR team has performed a miracle because like I say, man, I just, I was wrong. I did not think they would be able to spin this entire, uh, you know, fiasco or whatever, this, this, this disaster of a marriage, her not being, you know, authentic with her audience about what's going on. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. Her PR team is a genius and let me explain. Are they telling the truth? I don't know and I really do not care. But how else would they get Wendy from under the ground? She was literally six feet under with all of the dirt, the drama, the way her, her soon-to-be ex-husband was moving, buying his baby mom Ferraris, buying new condos, spending so much money and living his best life with his side chick while Wendy was somewhere in a sobriety house relapsing because he's out here having a hold of the child with a hold of the woman that is not his wife. I was saying to myself, she is under the ground. She is six feet beneath the earth. But oh my goodness, her PR team has been heaven. Her PR team is definitely heaven sent because how other can, what's another great way they could spin this thing? I don't believe it exists. She files for divorce and she goes out saying, I'm, my phone is ringing off the hook with any and every man that has some type of substance, that has some type of purpose, loyalty, desire to take me out on a date. I'm willing to say yes and to mingle and live this single life. And Wendy seems as though she's living her best life with the spin that her PR has put on. Now, don't get me wrong, she probably go home and cry at night. Understandable. But I'm just talking, I'm just speaking on, I'm just speaking on 
the miracle <clears throat> that her PR team was able to put together. She, um, excuse me, she, she was down and out. And um, when she was on that stage and she was telling how, she only named two men from the clip that I seen. It was the DJ Booth or whoever the DJ is on set. And she named Charlemagne, but we all know Charlemagne is married, so you know, yada yada yada. But the joy, the happiness, the way that the audience celebrated for her when she said DJ Booth or whoever, and these men are calling asking to take me, the way they celebrated just spoke volume to me. And it said, She's back. She's back. She never left. She's back. That's exactly what it said to me. And it, she, look, her PR team deserves a raise as well as a bonus. Because I'm telling y'all, see what y'all want to say. But I'm a firm believer that her career was going down the drain. Now, because even, it, you know, it, at this point, it, it was just not enough to fire Kelvin Hunter. It was just not enough to divorce Kelvin Hunter because of everything that has came out you know, over the past couple of weeks, it would have, it would not have been enough because the critics were still chirping. Oh, she's being fake. Oh, she can speak and talk about everyone else's relationship with her own. Oh, she can gossip about my relationship, but she can't gossip about hers. Well, you know what she did? She put her relationship status out there. It's single, and she out here ready to mingle with any man that's willing to, you know shoot their shots so I have to give credit what credit is due they have revived her from the dead um speaking of uh, so anyway so uh you know she had extra security uh you know she had him serve on set which you know what I'm saying I got this Kevin Hunter is is a is a different breed I'm sorry man given what they were going through all of these weeks and months however long it's been for him to still show up at work show his face, carry out his duties as if nothing was going on at home, as if nothing was in the blog, as if nothing was being reported. Oh my goodness, you can say what you want to say about the guy, but he's the constant professional. He goes to work to work. You, you, you hear me? And I, hey, you know, I had to figure out a way to throw some type of bone to him because he going down. But, I mean, you know, it's almost amazing because, you know, you just ask how many men who had a, got a side chick, got a pregnant, had a baby, married, yada yada. How many would continue to show up on a daily basis to conduct business knowing that every employee who works for him and his wife is looking at him sideways and talking about him and have their opinions about how many would do that instead of just saying, I ain't coming in, y'all run the show without me. You have to extend some type of bone to him because he did it like a professional. Now, now let's get to it. Calvin Hunter cheated 10 years. That ain't cheating to me. That's a whole relationship. But anyway, I seen this meme on the internet. It was a meme of a woman. It, uh, it said something along the lines of, you know, once you, she was crying. The woman was crying. And I believe the shy chick name was Sabrina Taylor or something like that. I don't know. So the woman was crying. The meme said, when you get promoted from being the side chick and receiving the luxurious, the expensive gifts to shut up and keep it on the low, to being the wifey, to where you just being treated like the ex-wife, where you just being cheated on, not receiving no gift, that's about to be his mistress, or should I say his new woman, because he's in a committed relationship. Here's the thing. For a long time, look, if it isn't anybody know if it is if you got a side chick, you gotta do what you gotta do. Especially when you got money. And I got the question whether he had money because I also seen today where um the Ferrari that he bought for his baby mother um as a push gift was repo. So question that need answers. Is he what percentage of Wendy money does he get? Why is this car being repo? Why? You mean to tell me he's an executive producer, excuse me, as well as her manager. But, but, the vehicle he just purchased, 
is being repoed. What sense does that make? It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense. So, did Wendy make all of the money and he was just working to say he had something to do? To call shots? To be a shot call? I mean, these are questions that need answers because it's not adding up. He's been with Wendy for however long they've been together. You mean to tell me that he, even with the divorce, uh, in the uh, the divorce papers being served and all those things that he don't have the enough money to purchase the Ferrari that makes no sense if I'm the baby mom I'm looking at him sideways and saying I'm about to go to the courthouse put your own child support because I can do bad all by myself I can be greater by myself so that's that um also you know Wendy she went on air and you know I don't watch you know I watch YouTube clips talked about how you know she's planning a whole new life for her and her son uh you know they're moving she moving at the sobriety house and um you know all of those good things and i'm just saying man you know listen i'm very obsessed with with people who who can who, who you know who can just work miracles you know I really just want to sit here and just brag and continue to talk about her PR team and the miracle that they just they have just you know uh, you know performed. I really do because I really believe that Wendy she I believe that she was down and out. I did, I did. I don't know about you guys, but I did. But I'm not gonna keep going on and on about her PR team. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna to switch to the next topic, which is. You know, my boy, he from Florida, Mr. Kodak Black. Kodak has been arrested again. Uh, he was trying to, um, you know, come back into the country from the Canada. Uh, you know, they got him on, you know, he got weapons and marijuana and all that stuff in his car. And I'm just like, bro, you at the border. You at the border. You know they gonna search and see. <laughs> you know, how, you know, he, he was a driver and, um, Kodak, you know, the internet coming up with all these conspiracy theories, like did somebody tip them off or yada? Look, let me tell you something, man. It don't take a genius to smell marijuana, especially when you working outside at a, you know, at a customs or whatever, at, you know, at Border Patrol where you smelling all this fresh air and then you just get like a strong stank scent and just like, oh, that's definitely marijuana. Like, let's discover that first and foremost. Um... <clears throat> You know, it, you know, it, it never fails, man. These these rappers, it doesn't matter how young or old they are. Some seem to never learn. They continuously surround themselves with people who they just cannot trust. But they have not, they have not figured it out yet. You know, they have not figured out that they have to surround themselves with people who has their best interest. They have not figured it out yet that they have to want <clears throat> the best for themselves. They have not figured it out yet that they have to be above the street life that they left behind in Fort Lauderdale, AKA Broward County. They have not figured it out, especially Kodak. And it is sad because one who has so much talent always seems to let such talent get flushed down the toilet by going to prison, by wanting to be uh, associated with those who does not have his or her best interest in mind. And that is Kodak. His bond is set, I believe, $20,000, $40,000 um, he had to cancel a couple shows because he would not be able to make it, unfortunately. You know, so it's sad. And, you know, he out here beefing with T.I. Game. <clears throat> and I must admit, I thought the beef is funny. But T.I. and the Game has figured it out. You know, they have no longer, I can't really speak about the game. Maybe he just don't get caught. But T.I. have no longer, he no longer surrounds himself with, with individuals who wants to be a you know be on the team uh be on his team um as opposed to be a part of his team and that's the problem with kodak he has so many individual friends homeboys uh you know goons he has so many snipers as he like to call them <clears throat> that just wants to be on his team but not a part of his team you have to move you move different when you are a part of a team because you know if the head you know, the captain of the team go down, the team goes down. Well, when you just own the team, you just kind of, 
you know, co you know, cozy, I mean, cruising right alone, excuse me. And that's what he surrounds himself with. And it is so sad because, like I say, whether you agree or disagree, I believe he has a talent. I believe he has a place in the rap industry. I believe that he could be the next, <clears throat> I don't know, the next big rapper. I, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't want to be too dramatic here because he is a mama rapper, you know what I'm saying? But, <clears throat> you know, he has an audience. He also has a way of being able to what's the word I'm looking for like when you hear a, a, a you know a Kodak record or you hear Kodak on a feature his presence is known he is just not snuck on there just because his presence is known he has a name he can actually rap he can flow he has the talent however he's just he hasn't figured it out yet. He has not figured out that he just need to find members, uh, snipers, as he like to call them, to be a part of his team, not just on his team. And you know, it's so sad, but it's not really sad when you think about the bigger picture. The bigger picture is you could be so rich. You could be in a different tax bracket. You could do so much for your family. You could do so much for your community. You could do so much for others who you love and care about, but you continuously refuse to do things for those people that you love and care about because you are so caught up in being involved in foolishness that um, you know lands you in jail and it's just so sad but but somebody is gonna have to figure out a way to reach Kodak I don't know how that's possible I don't know if it's possible but someone is going to have to figure out a way to reach Kodak and let Kodak know hey man this is the bigger picture this is the bigger picture and it is up to you to make sure this picture <clears throat> actually come to existence so saying all that to say man um kodak get it together you know i love you i don't want to see you fail i want to see you prevail come on man get it together last but not least i just had to talk about this i thought it was so weird but <clears throat> i'm not gonna talk about the whole Remy Ma punching the little girl from Love & Hip Hop. But uh, Khalees is now going to trial for 20 counts of uh, contempt for keeping son away from Nas. I don't know what will happen of this. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how this going to turn out. I, I ain't never even heard of this. You know how many baby mamas keep their child away from their daddy because the daddy don't want to act right or do right? Never heard and never seen this. I'm definitely going to follow this as much as I can because I'm just interested in the outcome. And I, at this point, I'm just like, well, dang, Khalees, like, you kind of giving Nas ammo to get custody or at least get brownie points with his fans if, in fact, all of this is true. Just wanted to mention that. I'm going to be keeping an eye on it, but that's all I have, guys. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Everybody, be sure to like, comment, and share. And I'm out of here. I'm gone. Peace.